overcast morning, but it is warm, warmer than I can remember on parade day in Detroit. Welcome back. Uh, we just met uh, keyboardist Brian O'Neill, and is now he sitting wonderful? with wonderful? Got to do tours with. I mentioned a high school uh, classmate of yours. We're joined now by record Motown recording artist Kim. Welcome, happy Thanksgiving. You were with us a year or so ago. Yes, last it's, year. It's good to be. You back. had chitlins last year too, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I have a good memory, don't I? Yeah. You what just have you been got, doing? You just got back from your, from touring yeah. in Europe. Yeah, we just got back from Europe on Monday. Uh, and it, it was an incredible, incredible experience. Well, tell us how you and, and Brian O'Neill got together. You Brian, sound wonderful uh, together. Uh, yeah, yeah. Brian and I have been uh, writing music and uh, performing together uh, since we were in high school at, uh, at Southfield High. Um, and uh, he's probably one of the... Uh, most extraordinary keyboard players that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Is he blushing over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I learned a, a lot of what I do, uh, a lot of the voicings that I use, uh, a lot of the melodies that I use, I, I, I picked up from, from, from Brian. Now you heard Wendy Popko talk about how a few years ago she was, uh, you know, sort of yeah. starving artist at that time, and yeah. it's either feast or famine yeah. in yeah. your business, but you had such wonderful success. Yeah, yeah, Detroit, right. and Detroit is definitely, uh, Detroit and the entire metropolitan area is really responsible for uh, for helping us uh, take this music all over the all world. All right, well, we'll hear more from Kim and Brian O'Neill in just a, a moment, but first... In fact, they've got a Christmas classic coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank all you. right, but let's get back down to the street now. Uh, Rhonda Walker standing by...